is linked to industrial production. Even if it's less stable or less coherent, we are better than we were last year. There is a very simple way to demonstrate what is changing in Portugal. In 2012, we had two obituaries of companies for each new company in Portugal. 2014. Two new companies and just one finish. It's exactly the opposite. The number of new enterprises is doubling the number of those who disappear. That says something about the creativity, the innovation of our entrepreneurial community, namely on the segment of small and medium young enterprises. Obviously, this was possible because we reduced our deficit from 10% in 2011 to 4% in 2014. So, that was a credible commitment. And I call your attention to a decisive international report published less than one month ago. The global report on competitiveness from the World Economic Forum. Focus your attention on the Portuguese position. Our country jumped nothing less than 15 positions in one year. We were 51, we are now 36. And the perimeter is a number of countries, 144. We jumped because we reformed. We jumped because we are more flexible. We jumped because we adapt our economy to global economy. And this is the second item of my speech. I met political authorities. I met investment funds. I met Portuguese descendants members of government, there is a peculiar tendency to Portuguese descendants to become provincial finance ministers. <laughs> they are good managers. This is true in Ontario, but this is also true in Quebec. Both finance ministers, one is Sosa, the other one is Leitão are loser descendants and very proud of their roots in Portugal. And thank you, Minister Chen, because we have also a peculiar link, which is Macau. And how Macau was 